Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration um, reading for the Cancer Sun, Moon and Rising sign. I want to say welcome. This is the month of December 2017 and the month of December has the Energy Vibration of the Hair Energies. Um, you guys are um, the um, water energies, so hair and water is not really... <laughs> so... Um, let's see what it's going to come out it's actually a good month two major arcanas you have power energies coming in this is good you have the number nine energy twice number nine three times a wake-up call for you cancers um number nine energies three times there is a wake-up call for you cancers the focus on this month second week is the for the men it is your karma uh, it can be luck and it can be that it's just your karma whatever is happening um, it can be luck but yet still removal so it can be um, your karma that you're ending something okay so for you cancers men but um, the Sun comes up in your reading which I have not seen the Sun together with the ring the Sun together with the ring is positive this is good connection with the right people the right situation the right relationships okay let's go and let's say I want to say thank you to all you cancers this is the last month of the year 2017 thank you for the support the likes and the shares you have been rocking this um, channel I'm so grateful for your help and your support thank you for the donations for all who donated and all who didn't donate I know times is hard but at least a dollar or 50 cents with your PayPal account it's not much donate um, you can continue to donate uh, or you can go and find a website I will uh, extend the link to their website because I finally finally finished um, so um, anyway um, for different situation different um, scenarios in our lives we need to understand where we are so this is positive this is good the first half of the month is the energy of the fire um, uh, of the fi the zodiac energy of fire second half is the energy vibration of the zodiac energy of the heart um, your leg comes in um, in the you know in the second half which money is there that sort of a thing you're being protected but you're working with the energy of the youth of um, emoji the youth of emoji I'm trying to um, wonder if the youth of emoji came out but anyway you have the energy of the youth of emotion this is like a learning how to deal with your emotion it is as if you're letting go all that you don't need and you're rebirthing yourself so the youth is always a form of rebirthing yourself which is wonderful and which is positive the number the any the color of green is coming out in this month green is prosperity green is luck in your materialistic aspect you have the energy of um, the um, Archangel Raphael Raphael is the energy of healing and the energy of abundancy so Archangel Raphael you can call upon in this month and this is going to be wonderful I have absolutely no idea that what is going on with you cancers but obviously it is something good the basis of your reading is a time of um, patience and planning um, yeah it's patience and planning you have a lot of situation that have to have to do with your materialistic world so it's as if this December is a time of patience and planning because you can see it in the two last week because you have two major arcana in the first week so it is um, the basis of this month is patience and planning as we look to see what the energy vibration is for you guys is the nine of pentacles so this is going to be good the nine of the materialistic world that means your financial situation will be um, in balance to build um, um, secure financial situation for you cancer so yeah yeah kudos to you okay 
as we look forward we are working with the energy of the unicorns and what do you have you have seek the good so whatever is happening in your life you can say seek the good seek the good seek whatever it's teaching you whatever this is teaching you seek the good if you are someone who your partner is in is um, pregnant and um, your partner is you know giving off these sort of energy it's the hormone but um, this is the time when you truly um, know within yourself whether or not you want to be in this relationship when the baby is born or not I'm seeing a lot of men are going to start thinking about this because a lot of men um, have a situation with destiny a lot of men have a situation here with destiny so you men who are married maybe you're going to look um, and connect with your best friend because um, your best friend is actually your um, the person that you should be with it's not really your soulmate or twin flame because this energy is not coming up but whatever is happening in your world whatever is happening in your world it's a it's, it's, it's a form of destiny because it's something that is coming from the past it's a past relationship that you need to heal and you come back at this time to heal this relationship with this person and you know it's it's one off and and now you are thinking because maybe this person is pregnant maybe this person is really showing up who they are and this person um removal is uh, always um a fire sign person that sort of a thing so um you know you men check in to see if you're with a fire sign person and whatever it was it was a karmatic situation so whatever is happening um you know seek help seek support from your best friend because your best friend is going to bring out the energy and the sun within you and um, those that is really the person who you should have married or connect with um, for some of you okay within your marriage in the last week you need to find in a strength whatever is happening a lot of people in the last week need to find in a strength in their marriages because they are going to realize something okay um, money is not going to be a problem it's as if in the last week money is going to be coming at you it's as if you weren't expecting this money so it's but there is some situation that is going on with your marriage a lot of people in the last week but anyway let's let me let me start breaking down your week <laughs> okay let's look at the cards and see what's happening here I can't really see it, but I hope you guys can see them. Okay, so let's look and see. The first week you have the energy of the number eight. And remember, I said to you it's three times nine, so it's the ending of karmatic situation, relationships, situations that need to end. Okay, it's three times nine. Okay um you have in the first week the energy vibration of uh, the fire sign power the number eight uh, um that is in a strength and you have uh, it is in in a like a crack in a strength you you're in search of inner strength in the first week and the last week you are in search of inner strength in the first week and the last week you are going to find that inner strength because you're going to victoriously come out of whatever it is and you know you you are going to have your best friend to support you whatever that is going on in the first week whatever that ended in november in the first week you're going to connect with your good friend some of you have a very very good friend because within that good friend that good friend is going to help you to find the inner strength that you need to have to go through a situation okay 
Alrighty, as we look at the second week, whatever is happening, whatever is transpiring in your life as a Cancer, it is something from the past. It's a past re relationship. And this is going to be, be removed out of your life. Um, it could be the, uh, okay, it's going to affect, it, it's, it is here for the men. So you men are in a karmatic relationship with someone and this is someone that you know um, from lifetime and lifetime. It's going to affect you and it's as if they're going to be removed out of their life. Either they decide to um, remove or um, the wheel of fortune can be that it's bringing them back or they're going to be there but a removal of something it can be a relationship it can be situations it depends on who you are what is affecting you but there is going to be a removal out of your of the lives of men for the women it's going to be okay it's going to be um good it uh, but it could be a woman and you're having a karmatic situation with a man and the wheel of fortune is going to come and remove them out of your life it's as if whatever lesson and whatever you needed to deal with with this person it's going to be ill and you can move on movement choices and decision in the third week movement choices and decision in the third week and it has to do with the nine of ones and nine of ones is that you're ready for this change whatever is happening you are ready for this change you are waiting for this change you have been waiting for this change you cancers and it's going to happen and you're going to be happy there's a lot of success whatever you plan to do the third week whatever changes that you um, cancers decide to do in your life the third week the week of christmas is going to be the week to do the changes and this is going to be good this is going to be positive and you are going to be very very um happy with whatever decision you make the third week is a positive week to make changes in your life okay for it and last week we have materialistic harvest another number nine energy comes up this is positive this is good um the number 11 is here and the number nine this harvesting because it's the last of the hair so you are going to be here harvesting a lot of situation in a strength okay with a energy of inner strength is coming in with the people who are married so if you're in a long-term relationship you are um uh promised to be married to you're engaged uh for the for the marriage people you're going to need to find inner strength for the people who are engaged you um, some of you are going to be engaged some of you um, or you know need to find inner strength but whatever the situation is it's it, it's gonna be good but with a marriage people it's gonna be that you need to find inner strength it's all about the materialistic things for them so this last week of December is going to teach you a lot about your partner um, about the person you're married to it is going to teach you a lot about them money is going to come in for you it is no question um, a lot of partnerships also in business is going to come in for you cancers for the people who are looking for partnership in business it's going to really really come in for you a lot of cancers you're going to find out that um, very good friends are going to be there for you um, and they're going to help you through whatever situation you're going through in your marriage a lot of cancers are going to realize that certain people are only uh, with them for materialistic gains it is not really love they're just with them for the materialistic gains and what they can you know get back so it's all about destiny it's all about 
past relationship from out of past lifetime that you are in you can end this relationship um, in a form of marriage or in a form of good friends whatever the, that is plain and some of you are going to realize that someone who is a good friend to you is actually um, the love of your life they bring the Sun in your life and they are you know a, a very wise and they're going to um, help you to bring a financial abundancy in your life which is going to be good I must say there are certain situation in your reading but for, you know as I look at the what is to come for the month of January it's very good whatever is to come for the month of January is that you men especially the men because it's gonna be good for the women if I don't speak about you because sometimes the, uh, people will say is this uh, is this for the men or this is for the women if I don't speak about the women that means it's not going to affect you that much but for the men it's all about the friendship it's all about the connection that you have with other people and these people are going to bring you um, blessings in your life your marriage you're going to find out that doing business with your best friend is also going to be good your marriage is going to need to deal with inner strength because some of you are going to realize that your marriage is based on materialistic gains and it there is not the marriage that was really um, place with love it's about materialistic things okay so um, you know you you have to really understand the psychic of people and sometimes you marry to someone because you think you know them but it's all about the materialistic gains what they can get out of it because some people marry only for money and you are in a marriage that um, is only for money because you need inner strength because you know you need to have the materialistic harvest sin and it's going to happen and you're going to see that once you have this materialistic harvesting oh love is gonna come to you all who never sees you is gonna see you you know it's as if you you have won the, the lottery and the girl down the street you're always saying hi and she never reply and then all of a sudden you win the lottery you bought a new car you're looking good and all of a sudden woo there she is money grabbing be careful because a lot of money you guys are going to come in a lot of money whatever is happening the wheel of fortune is here and your materialistic wealth which is the nine of pentacles is also here so obviously and the energy of money is here also the energy of money is here also so whatever that you were going through is going to come to an end money is going to be here for you let's look at your energy vibration for the love to see what's happening with you and your best friend what is happening with the cancers and their best friend in the first week um whatever that was happening your best friend is going to show you that your relationship is not built on solid ground okay um, whatever is happening your best friend is going to show you that your relationship is not built on solid ground and I think within you you knew that your marriage wasn't good or your relationship wasn't good but now your best friend is really really going to show you that second week there is going to be a transformation with you guys there's going to be an ending with you men whatever is happening and you could be ending a relationship or someone could be ending a relationship with you with you men be aware you cancers you could be ending a relationship or um, somebody could be ending a relationship with you you men uh, the energy of the Sun um, whatever is that man um, there is situation the five of swords there's going to be conflict 
with someone and who is that person there's going to be conflicts with someone who is an Aries um, a Leo or a Sagittarius you're going to have conflicts with an Aries a Leo or a Sagittarius so, um, you know whether or not you're a man or a woman you're going to have um, conflicts if you're in a relationship with someone who is an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius? There's going to be conflicts, okay? Let's see what is happening in the love arena for you, Cancers. In the last week, you have the energy of the magician. So, this is good because the energy of the magician with a ring is saying that the universe is going to bring you the person who, uh, or is going to show you the person you should be with. Okay, because right now you're having problems in your marriage and it's as if the universe is going to show you and let you see that, uh, um, you know, there is someone better for you. It's as if the universe is going to work a little magic for you and the energy of justice is here. So it could be that you are going to decide to get divorced in um yeah it could be that you know the end of december you're going to decide that i can't do this anymore i'm i'm i'm, I'm going to get divorced and you can get divorced either mentally or physically that means you can really ask for the divorce proceeding uh, or you can um from your heart um you know release her his he or her from out of your heart so um some people marriages are on the rocks and uh, um, it's not one of the nicest um, information out to give because some people are not married for love and I, I, I think if and, and when you're married for the materialistic world it, it always comes out it basically always come out and what this is happening is that your best or a very good friend someone who you have confidence in this is not someone you have a relationship with it is just a good relationship it's nothing intimate okay not no intimacy could be intimacy could be that someone is having an outside relationship with someone who is their best friend and they are realizing because that person is showing them that there is a situation in your marriage that is not really healthy is not really good there is going to be conflicts um, with someone who is a fire sign so if you're married or in a relationship with someone who is a fire sign there is going to be a lot of conflicts um, a lot of um, yeah yeah there's going to be a lot of conflicts with this person um, you could be deciding to um you could be you, you you really could be deciding to get divorced in january you could be releasing someone a fire sign person who you have in your life and going for someone who is uh, i'm see yes 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 I saw this happening another sign that the fire sign people were letting go the water people to go with an earth sign person because here it is playing out you're often you're having conflicts with a fire sign person and that could be a Leo a Sagittarius or a uh, Aries so you're having fire you're having conflicts with a fire sign person and here the ring you're going for a hurt sign person which is a, is a Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn because you're realizing that there is where um, that is a person that you should have married to or that is a person that would be the best possible mate Wow I saw this in another I think it was a Sagittarius I think I saw this in the Sagittarius reading so if you have the sunrise or moon sign of the Sagittarius you cancers you can go and listen to the Sagittarius reading because this take place in another reading that this fire sign was leaving the cancers behind to connect with 
yeah to connect with uh, um the um the, the the capricorns or the taurus or the virgo because your marriage with the fire sign person isn't good wow wow okay okay some of you are going to decide to get you know at the last week in um december you're going to decide to divorce there is um the um justice there and the ring and the magician is as if you are going to realize that this is not the marriage that you want this is this is all based on materialistic things um that in uh, you're seeing the truth of a situation so um for some women you're going to be releasing yourself um or it's it's really the men the men are releasing themselves there is an ending that is going to happen to a karmatic situation that you have been dealing with wow but for the rest um, there's a lot of victory and success. They're good, good situation. The the you know if you have a good friends, you cancers who have a good friends, good friends, and some of you are going to be connecting um, in business with your good friends, and this could be um, someone who is uh, um, the Ace of Sword is uh, um, an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra could be opening up or you know you need to have the power to stand up against this person but you're going to be victorious in whatever way is is happening you're going to be victorious okay there's a lot of money coming in so if you're in business money is not going to be a problem your business is going to be very very good you um cancers let's look at the zodiac energy of the fire sign and the moon rising and the sun rising let's look at the energy for the moon rising and the sun rising to see what is happening what is taking place how is this looking and what we can do um, to understand the energy vibration around us um, you men are prominent in your region the Sun is here some of you are going to be getting married to your best friends and that sort of a thing I'm seeing happening but um, some of you are going to be leaving fire sign people behind okay let's see what is happening for the people who were born um, between the hours of 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. you have the Leo's okay for the people who were born, um, for the people who were born between the hours of 6 a.m. and 6 p.m., you have to deal with the Leos. And whatever is happening is that they are silently your little enemies. And you are going to be ending a relationship with these Leos. Let's see what else is happening for you, Sun Sign people. You are going to be working with Mercurius um, this planetary aspect this is something from a past life there's a transformation you are going to be this is really a karmatic situation that is going on for you cancers this situation and um, you know you cancers are going to be leaving a leo you're going to find out that this person you know who were who, um was not who they thought they were they were because the energy um came up um someone came up to show you that these people weren't on your side so let's go ahead and look at the energy and let's see what is happening for the moon people the people who were born between the time of 6 p.m and 6 a.m let's see what is happening for the cancer moon sign you have to deal with oh lord uranius planet of uranius oh my god yeah yeah the fire signs are out mm. 
if you are having conflicts with someone who is a Aries Leo or a Sagittarius they're out they're out and you're going to find your energy again okay so um, for the people who were married or you know wit in a relationship with someone who is an Aries a Leo or a Sagittarius they're out you or in then this whatever conflicts whatever situation because there is movement choices and decision so some of you are going to be moving away from these fire sign people some of you are going to have choices about these uh, choices to make whether or not you will go forward with these fire sign um, people and some people are going to make a decision in the third week of Christ Christmas if you are going to go forward with these uh, um, fire sign people if you decide not to move forward there's something new that is going to come in and they are saying that Sun energy is saying yes whatever movement whatever decision um, whatever choices that you're going to make yes go for it because Uranus is going to come in to help you with that okay let's look forward and see what is our oh, Jesus okay mm. alrighty okay you you know you um cancer's never seen to stop um, this is this is something you can sis or the um, to now because I have only the scorpions to do the planet of Uranus and Saturnus is here and it is removing some relationship um, marriage or coming to an end these situation that are ending new things are going to come in because endings are happening but new beginnings are going to happen whatever movement or choice or decision that you make in the third week it's going to be a yes make that decision yes it is okay to make that decision wow this is this is this is wonderful this is okay you guys never cease to stop surprising me you can scissors there's, there's going to be a, a, a lot of divorces as divorces has nothing to do with business it's divorces a lot of money is going to come to you but there's a lot of um, people deciding to end a relationship with someone who's an Aries a Leo or a Sagittarius you're going to make that decision and that decision is going to be made in the third week something is going to happen in Christmas and you're going to decide that this is it anyway no matter what it is seek the good within the situation um, your general energy was patient and planning okay that was your general energy and the Sun comes out too because after you're patient and planning the light of the Sun is going to come out because you're looking back for your inner you're looking back for who you are you're trying to figure out who you are and this month is going to show you something that is happening this month for you guys is going to be a month of the changing of the guards for you cancer so um, you're going to be ending and leaving most of the fire sign people behind it doesn't matter who you are if you're in a marriage with someone who is a fire sign it doesn't have to happen to you because it depends on if the situation was a karmatic situation whatever uh, um, it was and how it is playing out in your life because maybe in another person or not a couple they or they have gone over that stage that they decided not to get divorced and that sort of a thing so this um, scenarios and situation can be happening and yet still it's not affecting another couple because they have decided to work on their situation and you are going to really see this coming through whatever it is I want to say to you guys I'm 
um, thank you so much please like share these videos um, I want to say Merry Christmas and, and I will speak to you in the month of December enjoy your December whatever the decision that you need to make whatever the choices whatever the movement that is gonna happen do it with love and understand that sometimes we can't live together and sometimes it's you know time that we separate we understand that we have come so far and this is where it ends and sometimes we need to understand that we need to let go of certain people so we can um, uh, you know let go of the certain people so that we can move on because actually the youth of the energy is going to come in to help you guys um, I love you and um, I'm open that all your wishes and dreams will come true for Christmas um, money is not going to be a problem for you cancer so this is going to be good Ta -da -doo.